uh, see this problem uh, we have to find out the determinant of this and we have to prove that the determinant of this is equal to this term so uh, instead of uh, directly using the formula and then expanding it out you can you can use the conversions and the theorems which we have shown to simplify the determinant and then find the value that way it will be easier to find it out okay and then one more thing there will be various ways to write the write the determinants when variables are involved so they want especially in this format right so you know whenever you see such an answer in the options like this then you should get a hint that maybe they are doing some manipulations with the rows or columns then only we are going to get some form like this otherwise you'll you'll end up getting a very big formula i mean very big expression and later you might have to simplify it and then put them together like this it will be difficult so whenever you see something like this see that they have applied some operations uh, to the rows or columns okay and we have i already told you that when we take a row or a column and we add it with the other row or a column uh, with the multiplied with a constant the resulting uh, value of the de determinant doesn't change which means uh, see this how i solved it is first we have taken this okay this uh, determinant now the operation that we apply is r2 row 2 in place of row 2 i'm substituting with row 2 minus row 1 so after doing this operation whatever determinant we get the value of the determinant doesn't change which means whatever the original determinant value is the resulting determinant will also have the same value why is it so because in one of the theorems i have, I have already shown you that uh, if i have a row let us say like r1 and if i multiply with a constant k some other row and if i add it with this the resulting one it does not have the, the resulting value doesn't change right i already show, show, shown you that and in this case r r1 equal r2 equal to r2 minus r1 means in place of k we are having minus 1 right so here i am applying two uh, two operations one operation is r2 equal to r2 minus r1 which means in place of row 2 i am substituting with row 2 minus row 1 see this so this is the row 2 in place of this i will write row 2 minus row 1 so from this one i will subtract this then what do i get 0 and then uh, b minus a and and then b square minus a square isn't it and in place of r3 i am going to substitute with r3 minus r1 we can do any such any number of such operations we can take the original determinant and do any such any such operations and then get the next determinant and the value of these two determinants will be same right yes now r3 equal to r3 minus r2 which means in place of r3 also i am going to substitute r3 minus r1 okay so from this if i substitute this i'll get zero here and then c minus a and c square minus a square i got it right and next thing is we can write it as b minus a and this term as b square minus a square is nothing but b minus a into b plus a right therefore in this entire row we can take out b minus a as common because here it is b there is b minus a and here there is b minus a into b plus a therefore i can pull out b minus a this is also depending on a uh, if you remember that theorem that when we have when we multiply all the elements of a row or a column with a constant then the resulting determinant is nothing but taking out that constant and then finding out the remaining determinant right so uh, from this from this row i'm going to pull out b minus a so i have pulled out b minus a and from the third row i can pull out c minus a because it is c minus a and it is c minus a into c plus a therefore i pulled out c minus a right and now i got this entire thing and and finally i can do r3 equal to r3 minus r2 right so which why am i doing this is if you observe this i am trying to convert the entire determinant the entire determinant or the matrix into uh, a form of upper triangular or lower triangular matrix so that uh, the determinant finding will be easy right so r3 equal to r3 minus r1 r2 then what did we get r3 equal to r3 minus r2 then i got this right and now we know that this is a upper triangular matrix and in upper triangular matrix the determinant is equal to product of the diagonal elements and the product of the diagonal elements is nothing but c minus a right therefore this is the answer and you can do some manipulations with my you know minus and then you get the same one uh, even though it is looking different 
you can you can multiply this with minus 1 and then you can multiply this with minus 1 if you multiply both of them with minus 1 and minus 1 the result doesn't change you can write the expression like this a minus b and then c minus a and then c minus b b minus c okay so this is the answer so uh, what i did is i have applied some operations and then i finally got this answer this is not the only way to find the answer but then uh, if you get used to this method of solving it will be easier for you to solve uh, the matrices of order 4 so get used to this okay hi if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177. And IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 555 454. Okay, thank you.